Hey guys, so now let's go back onto the system, and we're at the main storyboard. Now for this we're going to have three view controllers, to be exact. The front page, the quiz, and the page for when we're done. Now one thing, these view controllers, they're a bit complicated. It takes a little bit slow for this. But, to start with, we need to attach these to our various controllers. So we made these uh, denote pretty well. Um, first view controller is going to be a front page view controller. The next one is our quiz view controller. And our last one is going to be our end view controller. Now, that's very simple. These are all connected. So the, it allows attributes to be linked between the view, the pages, the module, and the controllers. Now let's just give these things quick titles. So, quiz, start. Quiz, progress. Now, front page, I guess we got those two mixed up, okay. So this is over here, this is quiz end. Okay, so we have our three quizzes. Well, these are the three views, but how do you get to them? Well, for that, we're gonna use something in navigation controller. Now, if you guys don't know what a navigation controller is, don't worry about it, I'm just going to show you guys how to set it up, and it does most of the processing for us. So, we're going to move this arrow right here over to here. Another way to set this is to see this little thing right here. That sets for this whole system. Initialize the view on top of the navigation controller. Now, we're going to delete this right here, so go up to the root view controller right there and delete it. Now we're going to move these all closer, and we're going to control click and drag from that icon over to this view frame. And then we're going to do a root view controller. This says when this comes in, it's going to start here. And in fact, let me show you that's how it works. So we're going to create this label. I am here. And then we're going to run the simulator. Well, this should be fairly quick to turn on because we don't have a lot going on. So build succeeded. The simulator is going to run up. Let me explain what's running up. So this way right now is saying the relationship between the navigation controller to this view controller is a parent relationship. It is this goes over this controller. Now, we're going to do the link up, which I need to explain to you guys. And this is called a segue. So you're going to control, drag over, and for right now, we're going to do show. Now, what's going to do is going to create a segue. And look -y there, all of a sudden, well, th this wasn't there before. In fact, if we get rid of that segue, it's not that what's going on. Well, that's the navigation controller. Normally, view controllers are just going to look like the view controllers. But because the navigation controller is overhead, it's placing that in there so then you know where you are. Okay. So we created one segue. Well, we got to create the next segue. So another show. Okay, so we have two segues. Now, these will come in important much later, but for now, just name this one. Start to quiz and quiz to end. And then don't worry about going back at all. We go to the simulator as you see. We have a little donation bar, donating bar up here in the nav controller. And it's just I am here. So that works for that. Let's turn off. We don't need to be running the simulator right now. And let's focus on actually making this work. So we have 
are segues. This way is just saying from transitioning from this view to the other view. The identifier lets you know when the segue is being activated or to activate the specific segue. Same here. So this segue is saying we're going from start to quiz, which is what we're doing, and this is saying we're going from quiz to end. So what do we need now? Well, let's, let's make this look a little bit better. Let's take a view. And we're going to put two different views. Now, immediately, I just always like to change these colors. So let's do a, um, a light gray color and something more vibrant. Like a nice bright blue. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna click here, and this is called a constraint. And what are these are doing is they are setting the frame against another frame by a certain amount of pixels. And they're also setting up for view runtime how these objects are going to be sized. For this we're gonna set zero, 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 and then 120 on the height. Now we're just making this work for uh, the iPhone 8. We're actually gonna make it run on the iPhone 8, so there's no, not gonna be any issues with how everything's running. You know, make sure it looks fairly exact. Now, for this constraint, we're just setting zero, 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 zero. Okay, so this is a quiz start. Let's get a label. Go type over here and get a label. Drag this over. And for this one, we're going to do a 20, 20, 10, 10. Add those four constraints. Look how big it got. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, it seems small for one. Because this, you know, this is going to be the big label. This is going to actually say, let's change that right now quiz plus okay well first off it's small so what do we do we can click here to change more of the font but normally you just kind of click up and let's get it up to 40 and then let's put it the alignment in the middle there so now it's aligned in the middle it's a little hard to read against the gray so let's give it a white color and then boom, we have quiz plus. Now, what else do you do from a quiz? Well, this is the start page. So we should probably be able to start the quiz from here. This is kind of, we haven't decided if we're gonna play the game yet. So we haven't decided whether we're gonna start yet. Okay, so that was fun. Now, oh, this is weird. How are you going to make the button be better? Well, the easiest thing we can do now is we're going to do a 120 width by a 50 height. And, you know, we've been clicking right down here for the constraint so far. Well, we're going to click over here to the alignment constraint setup. And we're going to horizontally and vertically align it in the center of this view. And then really quick, just so we have that, we're going to change the color to white. For now... But let's, it's a button. What can we do with the button? Well, we're going to make it pop out a little bit more. Let's add the teal. And then let's add a little bit more distinction from the teal itself color. So we can add that black color so you can see it well. So you know this looks like a button. We could make it bigger. Um, I think that'll be good for this size. But, um... We can change the constraints to make the size larger or smaller. But this should, this should work. And let's change the font to be 25. Because all we have there is start. So that starts the quiz. Okay, so we have our first view controller and all this set up. Well, what now? What, what's going to happen if I, you know, if I press play and I load up the next, uh, the other iPhone? 
that one no longer matters, that's not going to be used. What's going to happen? Well, I'll show you what's going to happen, but I can tell you what's going to happen also. So this quiz won't do anything because it is a button, but the button isn't linked to anything. That's what our next step is going to be, is linking that button to a segue and making a segue happen. And this also gets, so to put it in the process, first thing we do is we're linking all the attributes and stuff together with all these quiz, control, quiz controllers and all that. And then we're gonna add everything together. We're gonna add the controllers to the system. And then after all that's done, we'll have our quiz. So I press start, see it's reacting, but nothing's happening. Let's well, we just haven't hooked anything up. Now this is going to be really handy for a lot of you guys is to uh, hit this little thing here and this will bring us to two different um, screens. Now yours should be left or right if you just had Xcode installed for the first time or if you just haven't changed any of the settings. I put mine from top to bottom only because then it gives you more view horizontally that you actually lose if you set it up in a different way. So we have the controllers, and this is going to be the front page view controller. And, and just to show you guys, if any of you are interested, you see the little drop down, you can press it, and you have assistant editor on the right, or assistant editor on the bottom. I clicked on bottom, you, normally it's on the right, normally you're going to see that. But for doing edits and stuff, I, just, I find that this works better for small computers. So we have the front page view controller, so you're probably asking, what do we do? Well, we need to add it, the action. So you're gonna go over on your uh, start button and you're going to control drag from that button and anywhere in this page in between the front page view controller, I like putting them on the top usually, you're gonna add an action. So once you get there, this pop-up's gonna show up and you need to go on to action and start press. And it's event touch up inside. You can change the events technically. For this one, we only need to touch up, touch up inside. So what, what's going on? This is an actionary function. So based on the action, this function is called. So our action is, has this been touched? Has this button been touched? And because the button has been touched, it's going to activate this action. Now, what are our action going to do? Uh, it's going to call a segue. So, form segue with identifier. Um, string is going to be, center is going to be nil. Now, our identifier, well, what's that? Well, if you go back to the segue and you name it same as me, me right here, you have start to quiz. Now make sure this is in the string format. It has the quotes on each side. And now, when we run it, what's gonna happen? Well, you'll be surprised to find out that we're now going to make this quiz appear. And when we hit start, it's going to move over. Now here's why we use the navigation. If we didn't have the navigation, we'd have to add in a back button ourselves. But because we had that navigator, it goes back. Look at that, isn't that fancy? And we can go into why that works, but for now, for you guys, probably just don't worry about it. There's an entire methodology of what's going on in the background. Just know that having the navigation makes it so you don't have to do anything when you, if you want to get back to the previous page. That's all for the start page. The next, um, we'll go into the quiz in progress, and then we'll go in the quiz end, and then for the most part, there should only be about four more videos after this. But for now, that's all for just the beginning quiz intro for the view controllers.